Hey everybody, it's Betty from Betty's Garage bringing you another tutorial. This one is a tutorial on a PS version of uh, Peter Zhang's PC version of a 12x2 drawbridge. Um, basically, in the PC version it works really well, but due to lag in PS4, uh, a friend of mine, Zombie Pro, has made modifications by adding some um, obsidian blocks and changing the circuitry around a little bit so it works a little bit better in PS4. Uh, Peter Zhang's bridge, when you build it the way he shows you to how to build it in PS4, it um, basically doesn't work more than it works. Um, this bridge in PS4 works most of the time, sometimes it does mess up, and uh, usually you can just recycle the bridge uh, by pressing the wood button here, and it'll fix itself. Other times it'll actually snatch uh, pistons or blocks that it's not supposed to out of the way, um, I think this has something to do with PS4's video rendering, I'm really not sure, but when it does that, then you just have to go in and fix it, and, but most of the time, like I say, it does work right, so let me show you how it retracts. And then how it extends. And there you have it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to build the other half in a second. Just wanted to let you know that if you're having to dig a hole to put this bridge in, you're going to want to dig it 10 deep by 14 wide by 12 long. Okay, um, and then everything should fit in there just fine. So um, how we're going to start this bridge off is we're going to put another six rows of blocks out. One, two, three four, five, six, and then off of these we're going to put half slabs as placeholders, and then delete all these blocks, so that we just have our original six left here, okay? Then we're going to take um, a block of choice, I'm using quartz blocks, and we're going to come four blocks to this side, and we're going to come four blocks to this side, like so. Okay. Now, what we need for building this bridge, let me show you real quick. Um, I have all these colors to just go through the different circuitries that we have uh, in, in the bridge, but you can use all the same color when you build it if you want. That's fine. What you're actually going to need is um, slime blocks. You're going to need a tripwire hook. Wood buttons, not stone buttons. If you use stone buttons, it won't make a pulse long enough to operate the bridge properly, and the bridge will not operate properly. We're going to use some levers for testing as we go along our way. We're going to use sticky pistons, regular pistons, comparators, repeaters, redstone torches, redstone dust, uh, quartz slabs, block of quartz, and these two can be any of your choice, and you're also going to need obsidian. Okay, so let's get started building. We're going to come over to the right hand side here and we're going to place a placeholder block there and then one behind it. Delete that block, get a sticky piston out, and we're going to put a sticky piston on the bottom there. And then to the inside, we're going to put another sticky piston. Now we can delete that block. And then facing inwards, we're going to put two more sticky pistons and then put a block of obsidian like that. Okay. This has to be a block of obsidian because we need a removable block right there. Then we're going to come below that and we're going to put a block there and a block there. And then we're going to put two blocks like so. And we're going to delete these blocks here. Get your torches out and put a torch on the blocks like so. Get your block of choice out, put a block in between here and come down a block and delete that block right there. Now facing towards the outside of the bridge, we're going to take a repeater and put a repeater facing into this block here. And we're going to set this repeater on two ticks delay. For those of you who don't know a lot about repeaters, repeaters come in a default mode, which is one tick delay. And then when we move the lever once, that's two ticks. Move it again, that's three ticks. And then we have a max of four ticks delay. So we're going to put it on two ticks delay. Then we're going to come over to this block here 
we're going to put a repeater on that block and set it to two ticks delay. Now, as I call out how many ticks delays when we're setting down repeaters, you need to pay close attention because if you do not have the um, repeater set correctly, the bridge will not operate properly. So we're going to put a placeholder there, one above it, put a torch on the top of that one. It's okay that that piston goes out. That's fine. Get our obsidian, put an obsidian on top of that piston, one towards us, and one over this torch right here. Get our redstone dust and put redstone dust on top of each one of those obsidian blocks, like so. Okay. Come down to the bottom here. And off of this bottom block here, we're going to put a placeholder and a block to the inside. Delete the placeholder. And we're going to put a torch on top of this block here. Okay, that's okay. Now take a lever. Put it in that block and activate the lever. That should go in like that. Deactivate the lever. And you should have something that looks like that now. And we're going to repeat the same procedure on this side, only in reverse. So we're going to get a block of choice. One like that. One behind it. Delete. Sticky piston. One to the inside of it, like so. Delete that block, and then two more sticky pistons facing inwards like that, and then a block of obsidian. Block of choice there and there. Come behind it. One and two. One and two. Delete these two. Get your torches out. Like that. Knock a choice out, placeholder, one below it. Again, facing outwards, we're going to put a repeater on two tick delay. And then facing towards the back, repeater on two tick delay. Placeholder and a block on top of it, and delete the placeholder. Put a torch on top of this block. Obsidian, like so. And redstone on top of that down to the bottom, put a placeholder underneath here, and then come one inside, delete the placeholder, and put a torch on top of this block here. Okay, now we're going to put a placeholder underneath this block here, and then we're going to come over four blocks, one, two, three, four, like so, delete the placeholder, from the lever in, come in Skip one block and put a block on top and delete the block underneath it like that. Now put redstone repeaters here, here, and here. All on default one tick delay like that. So, all on over, everything goes in. And you should have something that looks like that right now. Okay? Delete the lever. We're going to come over here to this block right here. And we're going to put a placeholder and a block in front of it, like so. Put a repeater with one tick delay. Put two blocks like that. And then a block like that. Delete this block. And facing in towards this block, we're going to put a repeater. And this one will be on three ticks delay. One, two, three, like so. We're going to make a little L shape like this. And delete these two bottom blocks. Put a torch on that block there, and now everything should be the way like it's supposed to be. Come under this block here, and we're going to make a little 3x3 three three square. Like that, and then put a block on top of each corner. And underneath, and delete the blocks underneath the corners, like so. Now, facing into this block, we're going to put a repeater down, four ticks delay. Then facing into this block, we're going to put a repeater down, four ticks delay. Facing to this block, we're going to put a repeater down, four ticks delay. And then facing into this block here, a repeater down, and we're only going to have one tick delay like that. Right? Now we're going to start building um, the main part of the machine here. So we're going to switch to blue. 
Put two blocks there, one there, and then come back 11 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then bring these back like that. Come to the front left side here, and we're going to start knocking blocks away in a zigzag pattern like this. So you should have six blocks on the right side and five blocks on the left side. Put a torch on top of each one of the blocks. And then put another block on top of the torch here and come all the way back. One more. And do the same for this one here. Just like we did before, come to the front left here and we're going to do the same zigzag pattern. So you should have something that looks like that now. Okay, put a torch on top of each one of these, and then on this side we're going to put a torch on the side of each one of these blocks like so. Go to the other side, and put a torch on each one of these blocks, like that. So you should have something that looks like that now. Grab your obsidian on this first torch on the side here. We're going to put the obsidian block and we're going to do that for five blocks. There's two, three, four, five, and then go the rest of the way back with regular blocks. So we should have something that looks like this now. The reason the obsidian is here is because when the um, slime blocks go by. If we put regular blocks there, the slime blocks can actually grab them and pull them forward and we don't want that to happen. Now grab your sticky pistons, come to this back, the back block here, put a sticky piston like that, and then come six forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and do the same on the other side. We're going to have to put a placeholder here. That's okay. We'll delete that one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Come to this back one here, put a sticky piston there and there, and then we're going to do five rows. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to put regular pistons there and there like that. Okay, now we'll come down to the bottom here. There's our blue block again at this last torch block right here. We're going to put a placeholder and then one below it and delete the placeholder. And do that on down the line on this side. Get our repeaters out. We're going to put a repeater on this white block here facing into that torch there on one tick delay. And we're going to do that for the rest of these slots as well. All on one tick delay. Okay. Now we're going to put a placeholder on the block below there and on top and then delete the placeholder like that. So you have a block behind each one of the repeaters like that. And then for this last one, we just come down here and crouch and put a block there like so. Okay. Now go back here. And we want to be able to um, put repeaters in here to power stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a placeholder there and a block below and delete the placeholder. And we're going to do that for each one of these slots on down the line. Just like that. So you should have something that looks like that now. Take a lever, put it on the back of this block here, and then take your repeaters and facing forward so that they go into this block here. Put a repeater on two ticks delay, 
in each one of the slots here. Just like that. Now we're ready for our first test. All pistons should extend. So they all have extended. See like that? Okay. I'm going to turn this off. And all the piston heads, only the piston heads, should retract right now. And that's what we have. So it's looking good so far. If you have something that looks like that, you're doing good. Okay. So here comes the next circuit. I'm going to change colors. Come over to this side where we have this slot right here. Put a placeholder and a block below it. And do that for each one of the five slots there are. Five or six? It's five. Yeah, five. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that right now. Okay, get your repeaters out facing towards the back of the machine so that they're going into the block this way. Put a repeater down and one, I'm sorry, two ticks delay. Okay, now we come and flick our lever. All the pistons should extend. And then flick it again. And now we should be looking at these pistons got pulled back to this piston here. So we have two that have been pulled back so far. And it's on both sides, so that's a good thing. Next, we need to come down under here where we've created these little boxes in the bottom here. Get your torches out, and on this block here, place a torch on each one. There should be five torches. It's okay that the piston head's extended, that's what we want to see. Okay. Now, we're going to take and put a piece of redstone dust here, and this is going to be our next circuit. Because what we want to do is be able to power this block to turn the torch that's over here on and off. So how we're going to do that is we're going to come to this uh, block right here. We're going to put a placeholder, put one below it, and then delete the placeholder. Do that for that one. Like that. Okay. So you should have done that four times. Now grab your repeaters and put a repeater facing towards the back of the machine, like that, to take delay in each one of the slots. Okay. Now we're going to get our power from this block right here. So we're going to put a placeholder and one above it and delete the placeholder. Turn around and put a repeater down on four ticks delay. And we're going to come over here, we're going to put a placeholder here and one above it, delete the placeholder, come over here, put a block on this block here, and a block next to it like that, put a repeater on one tick delay, and a piece of redstone there, and then we're going to put a torch right there. And now we have two that have pulled back. So we're going to test that just to make sure. Everything extended. And we have two rows that have pulled back completely. Awesome. Working good so far. Okay. Now we're going to go to our next circuit. Come to this block here. Put a placeholder and one above it. Delete the placeholder. Put a block there. Put a torch on the side of this block here. Grab a repeater. A repeater here with four ticks delay. Grab a sticky piston and put it on that block right there. And put a block on top of the sticky piston like so. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four blocks forward. Put a placeholder here and a block next to it like so. Put a block there. And then one away from the uh, piston. We're going to put a block there and delete the one below it like that. Okay? 
grab your repeaters again and face it into this block for the repeater on four ticks delay then two repeaters one there and there the first one on four ticks delay the next one on only two ticks delay like so grab a piece of redstone dust and put it down here now if i powered this redstone dust right now what it's going to do is it's going to power that repeater there and that repeater there and we don't want that to happen so we're going to use a redstone or i should say minecraft trick and when we put a tripwire hook here it straightens out that piece of redstone so that only this repeater is activated when it, this gets powered so it won't power that one there okay very important that we do that so come back here activate the lever all of our pistons extend deactivate it and now everything comes back except for this first row right here okay now we're going to need another circuit so we're going to grab a different color and i'm going to show you how to get these two right here to come back come over here put a block here and here come underneath and put a placeholder and one in front of it delete the placeholder one in front of that block and then one out this way on those three blocks right there now grab your repeaters put a repeater here and a repeater here this one on four ticks delay this one on two ticks delay grab your redstone and put redstone like so now we're going to grab power from this block right here this block right here i should say so we're going to put a repeater down here on four ticks delay like that over here put the placeholder come up one delete the placeholder put a block there there the placeholder there and one above it and delete the placeholder so you should have something that looks like that right now two repeaters in here both of them on four ticks delay put a torch on the front of this block and then the block on top of that torch and then the torch on top of that block and then we're going to put that there a placeholder and one above we delete the placeholder and we're going to put another repeater down here and this one's going to be four ticks delay okay we'll come back and activate our lever everything extended And everything came back except for this side here like it should all right we're getting there if you have something that's looking like this we're doing real good so far okay so I'm gonna grab my blue blocks back because we need to put another piece of circuitry in and what we want to do is you want to put a piece of obsidian right here this is where we're gonna power the machine from this block right here so Put a torch on the side of that block right there. Grab our blue block, put one there for a placeholder, and one below it. Delete the placeholder, one there for a placeholder, one below it. Delete the placeholder, one out like that. Placeholder, and then one above it. Delete the placeholder, put a block on top of that, and then a block out like that. So you should have something that looks like that right now. We can take that lever out of there, it doesn't need to be there the lever right here okay take out your repeaters you're going to put a repeater here one tick delay a repeater right here one tick delay and a piece of redstone dust right there get a torch out put a torch on that block right there put a piece of redstone there and then a repeater facing into this block here on one tick delay like so okay now we're going to finish building out this side so that we can pull these two back how we're going to do that take out our red and just like we did to the other side we're going to put a block there a block there a placeholder underneath one in front of it another block in front of it and then one out on these three like so grab your repeater put your repeater there and there this one's on four ticks, this one's on two tick delay. Grab your redstone, put redstone just like that. Then come down here, put a block on top of this torch here, put a placeholder, 
and then another block like so. Get your repeaters, a repeater here, and a repeater here. Both of these on four ticks delay. Your sticky piston, sticky piston there. Block on top of your sticky piston. Come to the side of the sticky piston and put four blocks out. The last one's a placeholder. Put one up like that and delete that block there. Put three repeaters down, all three on four ticks delay. Like that. Placeholder here, and a block in front of it, delete the placeholder, and then two more blocks like so, and then put a block on top of this block here. Get your redstone out, put dust there and there, repeaters out, put down two repeaters, both of them on four ticks delay, like that. Placeholder on the side of this block, and one above it, delete the placeholder, and then come forward three. One, two, three, like that, like that. It's almost there and there, and then you're going to put down three repeaters. One, two, three. From the back, we're going to go one, two, three, four ticks delay. One, two, three, four ticks delay, and two ticks delay like that. Okay? All right. Now we can power the bridge. Everything extends. And all of our pistons come back like they should. All right, if that worked for you, then you're doing everything correctly so far. If it may be messed up once, try cycling it again to make sure they all come back. And if it's not working correctly, then go back through the video and look to see where you might have gotten something wrong. That's all I can tell you, because it should work perfectly right now, okay? So now we need to build in um, a little bit more up here, our rackers, I, I guess you would call it. So we're gonna grab a sticky piston, or before we do that, Let's add some more obsidian. So on this row here, we're going to put one more block and then come over here and put three more blocks like that. And then put redstone on top of each one of these blocks like so. Go to the other side, do the same thing. On this block here, we're going to put one and then three more like that. And then put redstone on top of them like that. So you should have something that looks like that now. Grab your sticky pistons. We'll come down here to the side first. Put a sticky piston next to this piece of obsidian. We'll grab blue just to keep our color straight here. And put a blue block just like that. Grab regular pistons, not sticky pistons. And we're going to put three regular pistons in. One, two, three like that. Then grab your sticky piston. Put one, two sticky pistons like that. With a block in front of each one of those. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Sticky piston here, block in front of it, three regular pistons, and then two sticky pistons with blocks in front of them, like that. So now you should be looking at something that looks like that. And now we're going to build in the circuitry that actually actuates that off of to this block right here. And where we're going to pull the power is off of this block right here. So this one right here. Grab our next color for our next circuit, which should be orange now. We're going to put a placeholder here and then on there like that. Grab your repeater. Repeater facing towards the front like that on four ticks delay. Put a placeholder right here, one on top, one below, and delete our placeholder and put a piece of redstone dust right there. Get a sticky piston. Sticky piston there, put a block on top of our sticky piston, block next to our sticky piston like that. We're going to put a repeater on that block, one tick delay facing towards the front like that. Grab your sticky piston, like so, put a block on top of it, put a block next to your sticky piston there, grab a repeater and facing outwards, we're going to put a repeater down on four ticks delay. We're going to put a block in front of that and then come up two like that and then put a block on the bottom like so. So you should have something that looks like that now. Put a piece of redstone dust on the top here, a redstone torch on the side there, and redstone dust right there. Grab a sticky piston, put a sticky piston right there, 
a block on top of your sticky piston, a block right there, and then we want to put a repeater facing this piece of quartz block right here, like so, on four takes delay, and then we want to put a piece of redstone on top of that. Go ahead and grab our block of choice and our slime blocks. Go over here to the front of the machine, and on this side where these safety pistons are here, put slime blocks, six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, and do the same on the other side. Okay, and then we're going to put six rows of our block of choice, one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. Okay, we're almost ready to test the machine. We want to grab yellow, which is going to be our last color to grab for the last circuit. Put a yellow block right here, and then in front of it, to the side of it, like so. And we're going to make a little box like this. And put a little yellow block there, come underneath, delete that one. And that one like that. Grab your repeaters, a repeater facing that block there, a repeater facing that block there, both of them on one tick delay, and then a repeater facing into our obsidian on four ticks delay. We need our lever. Put three pieces of redstone dust like so. Come underneath this one block right here, a placeholder, and a block out like that. Repeater on one tick delay there, two more blocks, and then we're going to come one, two, three rows like that, and then on this right hand side we're going to come one, two out like so. Grab our comparators, one block back, we're going to put a comparator and a comparator, and then right next to them, a comparator and a comparator. Grab your redstone dust, put dust here and here. And here, put a repeater here. Oh, sorry about that. Repeater, uh, one tick delay, and then we can put redstone dust right there. Now we're going to build our little torch tower up. So we're going to activate the machine. So we want to go to a block there, and then one, two, and then delete those two blocks. Put a torch on the side of this block here, and we're going to go one. Two, and then put a block on the side of there, and delete those two, put a torch on the side of that block, and a piece of redstone dust on top of that block there. Okay, then we're going to come up one, two, and then put a block on the inside there, delete these two, put a redstone torch right here, and a piece of redstone dust there. Come up again, one, two, and then on this side here, delete those two. Redstone torch here, and redstone dust there. Grab our buttons, and we want to put a wood button on top of that block like so. It's important that after you build this, that this torch is out. We want to make sure that this torch is out, so that when we activate that button, that torch lights up and gives us our signal going in. Take one more piece of redstone dust and put it there, and then where this row is here, come down, and build a little stair up to this side here, like so. Okay, skip a space and put another stair, like so. So you should have two sets of stairs like that. Redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. Grab your repeater, and on this one here, we want to put a repeater facing outwards. And on this one here, we want to put a repeater facing inwards. And this is so that we can connect up our machines. And we'll do that in just a second. So let's test our machine. Let's operate it. Okay, that's just because of where it was in its cycle, because there's two cycles. Hit the button again. Awesome. And it 
worked like it's supposed to. That's a good thing. So what keeps these two halves in the sink is this one block over here that we put on this sticky piston right here. Notice it's down right now, and on the other side it will be down as well. And that's what syncs them up. As long as they stay both down or both up, the bridges will be in sync, just like that. Okay. So let's come over here, and I'll show you how I connect them up. Um, let me give you a couple caution notes. Again, we want to use a wood button, not a stone button, because of the length of the pulse. Don't spam the button. If you spam this button by repeating it, you know, pressing it repeatedly, um, it'll send multiple pulses into the machine and mess up all the timing, and it just will not function right properly, and you probably end up having to um, fix it because it'll do damage to the machine. Okay. Um, another note is if you're operating the machine, I like because of PS4 lag, just to have one side work and then the other side work. And that's why I've built, oh, I'll show you how to build a timing circuit. If you mess with the timing circuit so that both halves are working at the same time, that's okay. The caution is you never want to have these slime blocks out and then these slime blocks come out so that they both touch in the middle. If they touch in the middle, the next one that retracts will pull that row of slime block that way or that way, whichever way retracts first. Because remember, once they're connected, it's a solid line and we can push and pull a line. I think of it's 12 or 13 blocks. So just make sure that this side's retracting before this side comes out or this side's retracting before this side comes all the way out there so that they never touch in the middle. But the way I'm gonna show you how to do it, one side will work and then the other side will work. This way it cuts down on game lag and it actually operates better that way. So we're gonna put this repeater on four ticks delay and then we're going to run a line of repeaters out this way okay want them to come in with that repeater right up there so we're going to put a piece of redstone dust there and then put another line of repeaters this way like so and then we're going to set them all to four ticks delay So, then come over to this one here, and we're going to basically do the same thing. We're just going to run a line of repeaters out. A piece of redstone dust here, and then run a line of repeaters over to this one here. Again, all of them on four ticks delay. Okay, now when we press our button, and then we press it again. And awesome, it worked just as designed, perfectly. Like I said, it will mess up every once in a while, but you know, as long as you don't spam the button and you're not moving while the bridge is operating, it should work pretty well. Again, let me give a shout out to Peter Zhang, the creator of the bridge, and Zombie Pro, the modifier of this bridge. And um, if you really like it, just uh, please leave a like and leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you all. Again, this is Betty from Betty's Garage. Glad I could bring you this tutorial of this awesome bridge that was designed by Peter Zhang. I hope you really like it. Y'all have a great day. Have fun Minecrafting, and um, we'll catch you next time on my next tutorial.
Take care, everybody. Goodbye.